Believe it or not, it turns out that there is a way to have a full body tracking in VR without physical trackers using only your iPhone. And I've only found out about it because Arcute of the South shared it on my Discord. Thank you so much. And I thought that I definitely need to give it a try with all the love that I have for experimental VR stuff. This is a must. These physical HTC Vive trackers are really expensive. They go over $100 each and you will definitely need more than one if you want four full body tracking and based on this technology, this uh, VR body tracking app supposedly can create virtual body trackers using the advanced camera technology on the newer iPhones and that will basically substitute the physical trackers. So the way it works is that there is a software that you'll need to install on your PC and that will install a plugin on your Steam VR that will create these virtual trackers that should be listed right here and then using the iOS app you will be able to connect your phone to your computer and that will transfer the data from uh, the camera to the computer and it's going to track your body it sounded like a cool idea but I didn't know how well it would work I did give it a try and it's not ideal it's not perfect but it does work at least it worked on VR chat and I'm going to show you how to do it first you will need to download the virtual motion tracker on your PC by going to github.com, this link listed in the description, and you will need to download the zip file called vmt13c. You download it on your computer and then because it's a zip file you need to extract it, so extract it to a new folder and then in this folder go to VMT manager folder and run VMT manager. Here your computer will be asking you for some permissions, I have already tested all this for you. When you run this app Steam VR will also run to show you these trackers. So basically I made sure that my Steam VR is running, that my headset is connected to it so that the trackers show up and after it's all running you can click on install to install all these virtual trackers in your Steam VR. At this point it's going to ask you to restart your Steam VR, so just do whatever it says on the screen. Now these virtual trackers will not show up yet because first you will need to connect them to your phone and for that you will need to install an app on your iOS called Pinosoft. You can find it on the App Store. This app is very straightforward. All you need to put in is the local IP address, the same one that you can see on your computer. So if your computer is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi, you will need to look up the IP address there and put it the exact same IP address on your phone. Here I'm showing you on the screen where you can find your local IP address. And if your PC is connected with an Ethernet cable, you can still find that IP address, but in a slightly different place. Here I'm going to show you where you should go. So whichever method you use to connect to the internet, your phone needs to be in the same network. So put in that same IP address right here and your height. This is also important for tracking. And after that, click on link. If it is linked successfully, then you can see all these extra virtual trackers appear in your Steam VR. And that means that it's working. It is connected. What you see right now on the phone screen is the app tracking your movements and the information about this movement is being sent to your Steam VR. So with that being all set up, let's run VR chat. When you first run it, you will not see any body tracking because you will need to set it up. So open the menu, you'll need to calibrate the body tracking. Here I've noticed is where most of the problems appear because you will need to fit the trackers with the appropriate spots on your avatar's body. And that can be quite challenging because for some reason this app doesn't always position your trackers in the right places. But still you can see that I can raise my legs and do different movements and it is tracking my avatar is moving its lower body and that's because of these virtual trackers. Now it is not perfect by any means, it is still pretty wonky and chunky and it probably doesn't have nearly as good of a quality as physical trackers but this is the first time in my life that I saw virtual full body trackers and you don't have to spend money on physical trackers and you still have this ability. The only thing that's the most annoying is that while this 
this app has a free version, it comes with ads. Every now and then the ad will start playing on top of your calibration and that will basically stop your full body calibration and you will need to skip the ad by physically click on, on the button on your phone. So you will need to interrupt your VR gaming. That is really annoying and not good for long gaming sessions. But if you want to remove all ads forever, you can do that by paying $19.99, which I don't think it's too expensive, especially taking into account the cost of physical trackers. But I still think that for now the app is rather wonky and if the developers improve this app, then this is going to be an amazing solution to get full body tracking in VR without physical trackers. But for now, this is something that you can test right now if you have an iPhone. It's literally free to give it a try and to install virtual trackers plugging on your Steam VR and install the free app on your phone, connect them with the same local IP address and you're ready to go into any game that supports full body tracking. I will still test it with a game like Zenith that will also introduce full body tracking. So this is going to be very interesting to see how it's going to work in all these games. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Give it a like and subscribe to Disco VR if you've enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. See you next time.